Do any of you remember Cyprus in 2013, about 10 years ago, and the governments came in there and bailed in their the bank clients. So anyone who held a bank deposits in there above 100,000, I believe there are some below that too, uh, they, and if times get bad enough, I believe they'll go down, they'll go down anyway, they'll skim right at the top. They came in and literally stole people's time and energy right out of their bank account. They stole their cash, their, their money, it's really currency, because it's not backed by anything. They came and just stole it right out of their bank account. And they couldn't do anything about it because there's no way to defend themselves, right? The people there don't have any way to defend themselves. That's coming. The FDIC insurance warned us about this in late November, warned us that this would happen here in America, that this will happen and can happen, but no one needs to know unless it's a, a, a need to know basis. This is the world we're living in, guys. This is the world we're living in. So my question is, why? Why do we, why do, we do this? Why do we trade our, our finite time for infinite liabilities? Why do we trade the time we only get so much of away from our family and friends, our passions, our hobbies for infinite pieces of paper, for infinite digits in the computer? That's mind blowing. Why? Now we have a perfect trade. We have Bitcoin. It's the only other finite asset I know of besides time. Please. Someone else, let me know of another finite asset you know of. As I don't know of any. I, I don't know of any. So please let me know. Please comment if you know another finite asset. Truly finite, I mean completely finite, perfectly finite. There's only so much time on earth you have, and there's only so much Bitcoin. That's it. Not like, oh, it's kind of finite, or like, oh, there's, it's pretty scarce or rare. No, I mean finite. Bitcoin and time. Time is Bitcoin. That's why they say money is time. Time is money. Now we have it. It didn't really make sense before. We didn't have, we didn't actually have true money. We never had actually true, true money. Now we have something that's perfectly compatible and, and is exactly finite as time. These fundamentals are so important to continue going over, over and over and over again, right? The greatest coaches in the world, sports coaches, always working on the fundamentals because the difference between amateurs and pros is how you execute, not the fancy plays you run and things like that. It's how you execute the most simple things. Can you skate if you're a hockey player? Can you run if you're a basketball or football player or soccer player? Can you hit the ball? Can you catch the ball if you're a baseball player? These are the most simple things you have to be able to understand. You have to be the best at over and over and over again. So Cyprus is a great lesson of what's coming. The, the fiat monetary system, the legacy fiat monetary Titanic sinking slowly under the waves. And most people on there saying, oh, it, things are fine. Things are fine, guys. This is unsinkable. It's 2023. We're the dollar. We're the real world reserve currency. Oh, we're a Western country. Oh my goodness. And as the people that are exiting and going off on the, on the small, right, nascent still Bitcoin network in the Bitcoin life raft, moving away from the fiat legacy monetary Titanic saying, oh my goodness, guys, this thing is going down. It's, it's, it's going under the waves, guys. And you're yelling back at you. Oh, you guys are morons. It's so volatile in that sea. I hope you guys make it in that little Bitcoin network over there. And you're looking at this huge behemoth going down, going down slowly beneath the waves. So this is the world we find ourselves in. What are you going to choose? Are you going to continue? You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Are you going to continue letting this happen? Right? We, we just had another viral song, Rich Men in, in Richmond go viral because people are feeling what's going on. They are, they are craving the truth. People are craving truth right now. And art is going to be a huge thing. Bitcoin trading cards, what we're working on uh, here with art and education fused together in children's books. And then you have music, uh, all, the, all the Biden songs, right? Against them. You know, it's basically things against the deep state. Uh, same thing with this, this song here. These are all things we're speaking truth into existence and people craving truth. It's the fourth turning. We are entering that time. So be prepared because even the, our own institutions are warning of what can happen. But most people don't pay attention, right? There's 97% of people don't pay attention. Only about 3% pay attention actually see what's going on, right? The biblical number, 3%. And 3% and is really what got the Revolutionary War going. And, and we're in that fight and the effort until things started kind of looking good, then people started joining the cause. But all you need is 3%. You don't need everybody. You need 3%. It's always a minority of people that change things. And we have been being pushed and pushed and pushed and beat over the head for so long. And I'm talking vast majority of citizens, you know, 80, 90% of people. There's still 10% of people that are out there in just loony bins and they're they're out there for the wrong reasons or whatever. But vast majority of people, 90 plus percent of people are out there because they just want to be left alone. They want a better life. They want to have prosperity for them and, and their families. They want, they want a better life. And they're not getting it here in America. They're being beat over the head. They're being gaslit. And it's going to stop. It will absolutely stop. And Bitcoin is the biggest catalyst. But if you do not change the money, nothing will change. If you give some of the, the purse strings, like the Rothschild quote is, I care not who makes the nation laws, we can argue all day long. Red and blue, red and blue, but that's not the fight. Our, the fight is the state versus you. It's not red and blue. It's the state versus you. And now it's green versus orange. It's the money, right? The Rothschild quote is, I care not who makes the nation's laws. 
for if I control the money or I control the purse, I control the world. It doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. The whole fight is money. So you can argue Trump, Vivek, uh, Biden, Ramaswamy, it doesn't matter. Uh, DeSantis, RFK, whatever, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. If you control the money, you control everything. So these guys have control of the money. It's the rich men and, and rich men. This is the, the world we're living in. Until we fix that, nothing will change. Nothing will change. I guarantee it. I've been studying this for 14 years now straight because I was committed to, I'm figuring this game out. Lead me, led me to me, reading many great books and talking to many great people, interviewing many great people, uh, developing friendships. You know, Creature from Jekyll Island, Tragedy and Hope, um, the, this conspirator's hierarchy, the naked communist. There's so many amazing books that talk about this whole thing, right? The great reset, the great narrative, all these, all these books that lead to give you a path. These people are showing you a path of what they want. Klaus just this week coming out and saying, you know, he's going to control you. These people, these people think that you're too stupid to control your own life and, 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 and have your own life. When if we just let the free market do what it did, people would actually get smarter, right? It would train people to be smarter. Now, the reason people are like, oh yeah, people are morons. You know, it's because the fiat does that. A debt-based fiat system is exactly what this creates. It creates lazy, dependent, entitled people. When you have an equity-based deflationary system, it actually Im improves the world. It actually is number go up technology. It is responsibility to go up technology. People actually get better. They actually are using their higher faculties. They are, we are God's highest form of creation. We actually become better people because we're now incentivized to become better people and, and, and go to the good side instead of the dark side. That's the world we're living in. So don't be distracted. We're on this mission together. Please share this out. The algorithm hates truth. Thank, appreciate you coming to my TED Talk. It's not financial advice. It's freedom advice. Trust but verify. Question everything with boldness. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.